In this tutorial, we'll show you how to map your house for projections. Let's jump right in with an overview of the process, and then I'll discuss some important details to help you get the best projection show possible. This setup here on the sidewalk in front of my house represents the bare minimum that you'll need to project on your house. I have my laptop computer connected to my projector with an HDMI cable. I also use a mouse with my laptop because it makes it easier to draw. But if you prefer to use some other kind of pointing device, go for it. Note that I'm showing the equipment here during daylight hours so you can get a clear view. You can only draw your map at night. To begin, you'll need to install the House Mapper software on your computer. You can download it free from our website. Just follow the link in the video description. We have Windows, Mac, and Linux versions available. Once it is downloaded, launch the installer and follow the installation instructions on the download page. Make sure you read all the instructions carefully because there are some critical steps that will affect how your map lines up on your house. Start the program by double-clicking on the icon on your desktop. Your entire screen will go white with only the mouse pointer and some target lines. As you can see, I'm projecting my computer screen onto the house. The placement of the projector is an important consideration. Most short throw projectors do not have a zoom lens, so the size of the projected image is totally dependent on the distance from the house to the projector. To get the brightest and sharpest image, you want the projector as close to the house as possible, and you want your house to fill the frame as much as possible. If your projector is too far from the house, you might end up with a map looking like this. All that blank space means you're wasting a lot of the projector's resources projecting on nothing. Depending on the architecture and size of your house, you may just want to choose one section on which to project, like this. Also, if your house is a darker color or red brick, choosing a smaller section will help with the brightness of the image. Before you settle on a location for the projector, it's a good idea to project one of our sample videos on your house. It won't line up, but it can give you an idea of the quality you can expect. You can try different projector locations to see what will work best for your house. Straight on is usually the best for the brightness and sharpness of the image, but you can go at it from an angle like I do if you think that will work best. Just make sure the angles aren't too extreme. The more extreme the angle, the less bright and sharp the image will be. Now it's time to start drawing. Instead of looking at my computer screen while I draw, I look at the house. I position my pointer on the house where I want to start drawing a line. I left click and hold, then drag the mouse to draw the line. When I like how the line looks, I release the mouse button. I repeat this process over and over until I have an outline of my house. To simulate curves, you can just draw a series of short straight lines like I'm doing here with my half moon window. There's no need to get too crazy with detail. Doors, windows, the roof line, and major architectural features are all you need. No need to draw out door handles, or the garden hose, etc. Once you're satisfied with how the drawing looks, right-click with your mouse and select Save As from the drop-down menu. Save the map image to your desktop or another easily accessible place so you can send it to us as an email attachment. That's how it works. Now for some important notes. This setup on a folding table might be fine for a one-night event where you can keep an eye on your equipment. But if you want to do a projection show every night in all kinds of weather, you'll need a secure weatherproof box to house your equipment. We sell this complete projection package that includes the box and all the equipment you need for this kind of project. Check it out on our website. If you're handy, we also have instructions for building your own box available. Regardless of your setup, it's very important that you use the exact same projector in the exact same position to draw your map as you will when you project your show. Don't draw your map with your projector set up on a folding table and expect it to line up when you project from inside your new box later. Also, make sure you mark the position of your projector so that you can set it up exactly the same way next time you want to project. A little spray paint on the sidewalk works pretty well. Concrete driveways and sidewalks make nice stable platforms for your equipment that will help you get the exact same alignment every time you project. But what if the ideal position for your projector is on grass or some other kind of unstable surface? You might try using concrete pavers from your local home improvement store to create a stable platform where you want it. Don't be surprised if you have to put something under the back legs of the projector to aim it down. Most projectors are designed to throw an image up onto a wall, but you're going to want to cover your house all the way to the ground. Here I'm using some spare boards to prop up the rear of the projector. 
Our projector box comes with a tilted shelf inside so you don't have to worry about it. Aiming the projector down will produce a trapezoidal effect on the projected image, which can make your map look a bit skewed like this. It isn't absolutely required, but to compensate you can adjust the keystone setting on your projector to straighten out the image. Some projectors have an auto keystone feature, but most have to be adjusted manually. Check your projector manual for instructions. Aspect ratio is the ratio between the width and height of an image, and it will have a big impact on how the projected image lines up on your house. Our videos are produced in 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The digital media players we recommend and that are included in our equipment packages play the videos in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Most modern laptop or notebook computers have a screen with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but some don't. If your computer is one of those, it can still work fine for drawing your map, but we recommend using a media player for projecting your final show. Otherwise, it will be difficult to get it lined up. To wrap things up, remember you'll need to send us your map drawing as an email attachment. We also need a photo of your house for reference so we can evaluate where to place things, but we can't use a photo as a substitute for your map drawing. We need both. Happy projecting!